the vaccine pass is imposed in order to encourage and induce vaccination by those who should be vaccinated, especially the elderly, because the current vaccination rate amongst the elderly is still very low. For example, uh, for those age 70 and above, I think half of them have yet uh, to be vaccinated, and the number is probably about half a million. So we really need to uh, encourage and promote and induce uh, more unvaccinated people to come forward to, uh, to get the jab. If children are not eligible for vaccination for the time being, of course they will not be subject to the vaccine pass because in Hong Kong's case, uh, children start very late, okay? Uh, and at the moment, we still have not been providing one of the vaccines that is uh, BioNTech to uh, young kids uh, five uh, and above. So uh, I would imagine that when we um, amend the legislation to provide vaccine pass in terms of children, we will make uh, the needed allowance. Uh, we wouldn't put uh, children under very difficult uh, situation. For the uh, containment policy, uh, at the moment, it is still uh, the best policy and strategy uh, for Hong Kong. Uh, it has proven to be effective in helping Hong Kong to suppress the previous waves and allow people to uh, get back to their normal work. Achieving dynamic zero is still our best target uh, until uh, we have uh, reached a, a more satisfactory uh, vaccination uh, rate.